When I drink in in groups, though, like I went over to, to Ruman's house, and uh, and Judge brought over a couple of his buddies, and they were really nice. But um, I think one of them was woke, or maybe a couple of them. You know what I mean? Do you ever? You ever what just, happened? Well, it was like um, we started talking about my podcast. You know, some of the like uh, the girlfriends were like, "Oh, Leo, what are you? What what's the podcast about?" So was it like, was oh, it, it, it was Leo Judge's Daniel? buddies plus their girlfriends. Exactly, okay. they were visiting from New York, and I go, "Well." Um, we kind of just have a lot of fun, and there's some inappropriate stuff. She's like, oh, I love inappropriate stuff. Like, what oh, do you mean? No. Oh, no. And I was kind of drinking, and I was like, well, we had this really good one today where I pretended I was Genghis Khan, and I did, like, an Asian accent. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, my name is Genghis Khan. And then she was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I found out she was half Japanese. So that was my bad. She looked, she doesn't look Japanese at all. All right. So yeah. that was strike one. And then one, and another guy later on was like, oh, do you guys do like offensive stuff? And you know, it's offensive. And I was like, I mean, I guess some people would find it offensive. Yeah. And he goes, oh, you know that? And you, and you still do, do it on the podcast. And I was like, well, it's not offensive to me. You know what I mean? And then he laughed. I was just like kind of joking, but I was like, yeah, he was trying to give me like a lecture, but then he didn't go there. You know what I mean? But that is the that is how it's been going for me in in uh, group parties for uh -huh. a while now. I am an outcast. Uh -huh. I'm the bad boy, though. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's, uh, Hell yeah. it's you know what I mean. You know what I mean, Rathic, we're all the, the bad pussy. boys, bro. Yeah, we fuck all the pussy, <laughs> uh, baby. Bro, but no, it, it's happening, dude. I mean, Genghis Khan's Mongolian. Though, you're chill, the man. Here. I know, dude. It's just uh, you know, I mean. I don't think she was really offended, but she kind of was acting like like she was, you know, an, an educated young lady, and yeah. that is not. I like how you know, she said, is, "Oh, I love, I love offensive." I love humor. offensive. Yeah. I love Jimmy Kimmel's monologue where he makes fun of Trump. <laughs> what do you think the offensive was? It actually? was probably like, uh, "Yeah, you hear Trump? Uh, yeah, he's orange." Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh his, he had sex with a hooker and he wrote it off on his taxes. Oh, huh? What a crook. Oh what a God. crook, huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, he doesn't no. pay his taxes. I was telling my dad, dude, I, I was I was he was asking me, like, you know, what kind of numbers does the Tonight Show get? And I was like, dude, fucking our channel gets close to the numbers they get a month, you know? Maybe like what they get, two and a half million per video. Less than that. Yeah, exactly. Wait, uh, it's, I don't know what they get on YouTube. Their TV. Let's yeah. look it up. Let's look up Jimmy Kibble's show on yeah. YouTube. And I, I know and, on TV, our channel isn't is still yeah. not beating out the main <coughs> night late night shows. Yeah. But somebody like Samantha B. Do you know who Samantha B is? Uh, I think I've I've seen yeah. her like on YouTube. She was a chick late night talk show host mm -hmm. and some of our videos definitely get more views than what she was getting and the thing is they on these talk shows they have a staff of like 100 or 150 people wow. that were having to be supported off 300,000 views That's a video crazy so they finally asked her yeah they had to so she was getting almost no views huh or well, that's not just, no views so just just go to YouTube Austin just or you could how many people watch and then Jimmy just search Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel this will be easier so because it, if he gets well, a shitload of YouTube, YouTube views, yeah. you, you sort of got to give it up. Go to videos. Videos, Austin. And Sorry, let's make sure to mute with, this uh, so we don't Dino get in the cage. Austin, we'll, we'll, no, we'll, we'll, we'll talk we'll about that in a second. We'll, yeah. well, don't you worry. <laughs> and then Austin, can we also make sure that's muted? What All just right, came 68, up? Sixty-eight, three hundred, two hundred seventy-five. Yeah, it, it wasn't recorded. So these are the clips. So really, not super crazy numbers, right? Brennan Frazier interview got 1.5. Then the one will have 2.6. Donald Trump's there. Dude, he's so whack, Jimmy Kimmel. Go back up a little bit, just a teeny bit. Down a teeny bit. Right there. No f effing thanks. Donald Trump's pathetic, embarrassing announcement, which was about Donald Trump's NFT thing. Obviously, that's-, that's going to get views, yeah. Obviously, I mean, I didn't look into that too much. It, it sounded stupid, of course, because yeah. it's an NFT project. But I like how Jimmy Kimmel thinks this is a creative, comedic angle. Yeah. And it, I, it worked. It's got <laughs> 2.6 million views. Yeah, but no, what I'm saying is also, like, I'm like, because they don't, they want to censor kind of stuff. Like, uh, he, I was talking to my dad about it, and he goes, yeah, like, J Johnny Carson would have had- Donald Trump on if he was still around. You know what I mean? Like they would have the important, difficult conversations like Jimmy yeah. Kimmel with Donald Trump on would would make their show the big, the most watched thing out there right now. Right. Or or any of the any of the fucking figures that that probably should be on there that instead the Nelk boys are getting like, why do they have they got OJ, dude? Jimmy Kimmel should have had OJ on. That was pretty insane. Yeah, that was that was insane. You know, the Nelk boys are doing shit that like what what the, the late night TV show used to be, which was like. We're trying to make the most entertaining thing that's going to get watched the most. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's not about that anymore, I guess.